Well hi everybody, today is about proper breathing technique and it's something that's very important for health. The benefit list is really long but most people in our modern society don't breathe properly, i.e. diaphragmatically breathing. And that's for a number of reasons. Now the benefits from proper breathing, it helps with relieving anxiety, stress and tension, it can stop panic attacks, it helps our psychological state and helps us to control our emotions and to change those emotions to more positive ones. It helps detoxify the body, helps to optimally oxygenate the body and all its organs which also helps with healing, longevity and health in general. And this leads to more inner peace, focus in mind and thought control. It helps athletes to optimal performance in their sports and strengthens the most important diaphragm mus muscle which tends to weaken as we get older. Breathing only in the upper chest stimulates the panic receptors. Breathing into the stomach activates the calming receptors and that activates the parasympathetic nervous system. So that helps us stop with anxiety. Now using the diaphragm muscle helps massage and move the inner organs and helps with digestion. And it also helps with detoxification of the organs. It helps you control your anger, fear and anxiety and it helps you face more and bigger challenges without freezing or panicking. It can also help lower the release of stress hormones, cortisol and adrenaline into the bloodstream. It stops the use of the uh, overuse of the upper chest muscles and intercostals, which happens when we just breathe with the upper one third of our lungs. Now this can lead to tight and shortened muscles in the neck, in the shoulders and in the chest. So deep diaphragmatic breathing helps us deal with pain and being able to breathe through it when we have pain. When we stop our breathing or we hold our breath because we are in pain, it gets actually worse. And I had an instance of that recently. Now, diaphragmatic breathing strengthens your lungs. It doesn't increase your lung capacity, but it makes them stronger and strengthens the primary breathing muscles. Now, there have been lots of ancient traditions and sports and martial arts that have used diaphragmatic breathing. Now, the knowledge and the importance of the breath is shared by many of these traditions, from the Shaolin monks, to Tai Chi, to Kung Fu, to yoga practitioners, to Jiu Jitsu athletes. They all use variations of these techniques to improve health, bring focus to the mind, and to control their physical responses and improve performance. Now, there are a number of tests that you can do, like the BOLT test, B-O-L-T, to assess the current way you breathe. But that's probably beyond the scope of what we want to do here in this article. So why don't we breathe so well anymore in our modern day society in general? Well, there are a number of reasons we tend not to breathe like we should, using our diaphragms. We sit far too much, more than is healthy on average, and the, for that's not good for the human body. We're often slouched over computers or desks and our lungs are squashed and it's difficult to push out our stomach or to fill the lower lobes of our lungs. We are often also told as youngsters and children and adolescents to suck in our tummies and this continues into adulthood as we want to look slimmer and have a flat stomach. And this is counterintuitive to push the stomach out then. But this leads to upper chest breathing and discourages us from using our diaphragms and stomachs. So we don't want to look fat, of course. But this leads to a whole lot of tension. Now, we often don't do enough physical exercise. It's another reason, especially cardio exercises, which causes us to focus on our breathing because that is one of the best ways to be able to control our breathing. When we are under constant stress and tension and work in our busy lives, we tend to breathe shallow, fast, and this exacerbates the problem and it becomes a very vicious cycle. So what is good breathing technique? What does it mean? Well, to understand whether you are breathing using your diaphragm, I want you to do this. I want you to lie down on your back and place one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. Now take a deep breath in through your nostrils to the count of four. Is your stomach rising or your chest rising? Now ideally your stomach should be pushing outward first and if you continue taking a very deep breath, then the chest will rise. 
And if you keep breathing in, your upper chest will, and your shoulders will actually move as well. But what we're wanting to check is that the stomach is doing it. We want to focus that the stomach pushes out first, and when you exhale, you should be pushing the breath out and visualize sucking the tummy button into the, your backbone. So you're pushing it out. <sighs> Exhaling is just as important as the inhale. Only when you exhale properly, and as an asthmatic I know this, you, can you fully get rid of the stale oxygen and allow fresh oxygen to flood back in. Now using the lower lobes of your lungs is very important and emptying them fully and refilling them makes for optimum oxygenation and of course oxygen is life. Now when you are doing your breathing exercises you should either sit or stand very tall with your chest fully open, engaging your core muscles. You should not be slumped over, okay? Breathing in should be done when possible through your nostrils. Now sometimes if you've got sinus problems or you've had a broken nose, that can be a little bit difficult, but that is ideal. Now it makes you breathe in a lot slower when you go through your nostrils. When you exhale, breathe out through your mouth, okay? Now here are some breathing exercises, and there are many breathing patterns and formulas that you can use to improve uh, your breathing, but here are a couple that can help you get started. Now the tactical breath, tactical breathing. Now this is a breathing technique that you can use when you're exercising. Breathe in through your nostrils for the count of four and then out through your mouth for the count of six, even eight if you can concentrate for that long, okay, if you can hold it for that long. Concentrate on this rhythm for a whole two minutes, longer as you get more practice. Practice focusing your mind on this pattern and this rhythm. Even while you're running, if you're running at a slow pace, you can do this. The next technique is called box breathing. And I heard of this from one of my favorite people, uh, Commander Mark Devine, an ex-Navy SEAL. And it's a brilliant exercise. Now breathe in through your nostrils for the count of five, hold for five, and then breathe out again for five. And hold again for five before breathing back in. And practice this for at least two to three minutes regularly throughout the day if possible so that's it for today I have one actually I have do one have one more um, breathing exercise I forgot this one sorry guys it's called the four seven eight rhythm now this involves putting your tongue at the top of your mouth this is a yoga breathing practice you breathe in for four you hold for seven and then you whoosh out with your with your mouth you're pushing it out for eight okay and then back in now if you do that one that's a really good one for going to sleep at night um, and you only need it to do it for maybe four to eight breath cycles you'll find as you practice these breathing techniques over a matter of weeks you'll be a lot healthier you'll find you have a lot less tension and you can start to integrate them into your exercising and actually doing things with it and fantastic if you're grumpy <laughs> or if you've got anger issues do some breathing exercises before you say anything stupid. So guys, that's it for today with your breathing. Um, I hope this has been of help. And um, if you like this video, please, as always, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, like and share this video with your friends. Um, and we'd love to see you over on the website. That's runninghotcoaching.com, where we want to help as many people as we can reach their full potential in life. We teach... Uh, health and fitness training, so training programs, but also mindset, nutrition, and everything that goes along with that. So I hope to see you there, and thanks for watching.